Welcome back to YouTube. Two to UK. Unboxing. Let's us out. Link's Awakening. Limited edition. Collector's edition. Just turned up today. Uh, full of man flute, so excuse the croaky voice. Thought I'd have a crack open this. Um, pre ordered it. So it's a rough day. Daughter's been banging on about this, so. Let's have a butchers. Uh, from Nintendo, so not the best packaging. You can see it had a bit of a dig there. It's not affected the actual box at all. There we go. So, in black actually, I was a bit surprised it would be like that. Look at the addition. On the Switch. Steelbook, art book, game cart, and that's really about it. I mean, I must admit, from the screenshots I've seen and the videos, it does look fantastic. Just a remake of the original Game Boy. Um, so, them know that one. I, I, I haven't really looked into it. I don't know if they've done anything extra. Like they did with, you know, Link to the Past. Um, like adding extra features in it or what, what not. I don't know. So, we've got a couple of... Uh, I'm going to slip... There. Here's the actual box. It's, oh, actually, it's uh, ooh. right. I don't like this. I'll try to tell you why. Literally, if you can see here, it opens up. That cardboard is flimsy. As I mean, how are you going to stand that on the shelf? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I'm not liking that at all. I'm, I like the, the artwork and the style, but I don't like this box. Uh, not much finishes to it, but the, the actual cardboard itself is really thin. So there's the game. Got the steel tin. That's quite funky. I do like that. Even the back's riffled, if you can see that. And then all the, the screens, that's quite cool. That's a nice touch. Uh, and then obviously if we lift this, just tray off. Again, it's dead, dead thin. And the obligatory art book, but let's be honest, <laughs> no one ever reads, do they? Um, Gold foil right in. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you've still seen these art books. No one really ever. Uh, I suppose unless you've got a vested interest in. I mean, to be honest, the daughter may start looking at this and copy. She's she's really really good uh, artist. Um. But yeah, a quick flick through. I mean, mainly you're paying it for the box and the steel book. Let's be honest. Let's just see if there are any instructions in this. I'm not hold my breath. Um, just try and crack open it. I'll just do this off camera because it's easy to see rather than leaning over. He says. Um, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to. That cardboard is, is not going to last on the shelf. That's going to get black as well. Black edges. So it's bound to get worn, isn't it? You know, rubbed. Eesh. Yeah. Well, we've got a little uh, pamphlet, that's it. And again, this screen. Uh, I'm not going to do any game footage because you'll just get a strike from Nintendo and it's absolutely pointless. Even attempting it, guys. But yeah. Uh, not a bad little set. Just the quality of the box. It's, you know, it's going backwards, isn't it? Because I remember on the Wii, they had just the thin boxes. You know, they did all the collector's editions like Xenoblade Chronicles and stuff like that. It's thin. Then they went to the Wii U and they were doing, um, 
you know, the Wii U collector is a big chunky box, and now you know, really sturdy. Now they've gone backwards again, and it's like this super thin, super. I don't know. It looks nice, but I say that that black, and because it's so such thin cardboard, I can just see it getting worn. And obviously, look, it bow, it's bowing out already. So yeah, um, overall, what does it pay? Seventy quid, I think it is. It was probably like sixty, fifty, sixty quid anyway on its own. So you know, I don't buy many Switch games. Um, and this one really appealed, especially to, to me and the daughter. So there we go. Um, say no footage because I don't want to strike from Nintendo. I'm sure there'll be plenty of footage out there anyway. So take it easy, YouTube. I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.